Hello everyone. We have discussed domain controller in many videos, but we never touched it by itself. This is what we are going to talk about today. Let's get started. Okay, before we get into its technical detail, it's really important to understand what is a domain. It describes a collection of users, systems, applications, networks, database servers, and any other resources that are controlled from a centralized location is known as domain. Now a domain controller is a server most commonly used in Windows Active Directory domains that manages network and identity requests. Let's put it this way, domain controller works as a primary mode for authenticating users identities to Windows based systems, applications, file servers, networks and so on. Now the question is how do we create a domain controller? Well, it's pretty simple. When we install Active Directory domain services on a Windows server, after the installation, server becomes a domain controller, which then acts as a gatekeeper for user authentication and authorization to network resources within a domain. User authentication and authorization are critical for protecting the network infrastructure. It ensures that only trustworthy and relevant users access the network. I hope you got the basic idea, right? Let's go a little more deeper into it. Domain controllers are security essentials for Windows Server domains and were originally introduced in Windows NT in 1993. Basically, a domain controller acts like a brain that stores information about user accounts and devices in a centralized database. As I stated before, the primary responsibility of domain controller is to authenticate and validate user access on the network. This is how it works. When a user tries to access a domain, request goes to the domain controller, which pulls the information from database and checks the username and password to either allow or deny access to that user. If credentials are matched, user gets access, otherwise request decline. Apart from this, domain controller also determines access privileges based on user roles. For example, regular users cannot change the password, while system administrators can do. Moreover, domain controller also plays an important role in group policy management, such as installing software remotely, managing what website user can visit configuring, security settings, and so on. In conclusion, the main purpose of domain controller is to make sure that all bad actors stay out of the domain. Only authorized users access the relevant resources in the domain. Alright, so this was all about domain controller. Pretty simple and straightforward. 